Alrighty, guys. So con seasons are always complicated, and depending on if you are at a convention, staying there, or if, like with us, we go to local ones where you can come home every day, you are still schlepping a lot of stuff back and forth and all around with you all day. So what do you need to carry with you at conventions? Okay, so the first thing you guys need is a good con bag. I actually, woo, <laughs> I use the same one every year. I did try to switch out to a front carrying bag just because I know it's a little bit more secure. However, I love my Owly backpack and it is the most reliable thing. Now this is a kindergarten size backpack, it's a tiny one, so you're not dealing with the full size packs because you don't actually need a whole lot of stuff with you all day long, but you do need stuff for like makeup and other things that are kind of things you should be carrying around with you anyways. Now the thing that I found is separation and sorting is really useful because you don't want to be that person that's like zipping and velcroing in the middle of all the panels because it makes a lot of noise and it's kind of irritating. So the thing that I found that's actually been really useful is a bento box. Now this one I found at Amazon and it's pretty cool because it comes with these little containers. So each little container has its own thing and then they can all go in the big one that just goes into the backpack. So like I said, each one has its own thing. This first one is hair supplies. You always need extra hair supplies, boy or girl. You need it for, I, let's see, I've got hair pins in here. I've even got these little clips to keep it like wigs back. These are always useful for everything, even holding cords together. And flossers. You really don't want to be that person that when you have an excellent cosplay and all people can see is the stuff in your teeth. I also have a few extra wig caps just in case one goes bad or something's too tight or, you know, convenience sake. The next one has the makeup you need for the day. Now I'm going to stop real quick and mention these. These are lip scents, but I'm sure you can find other things that might be a little bit cheaper. These are awesome because it is a stain which then has a moisturizing sealer. So this lasts all day. I actually wore it for both my Bell and my Minnie Mouse, and they only come off, sadly, with alcohol. And I'm not talking the tasty kind, I'm talking the isopropylene kind. So it comes off once you take it off, otherwise it flakes off if you are messing with it too much. But it lasts through food, through drinks, through sweating, through everything, which makes it super cool and very, very useful. The next thing is moisturizer. Cons are dry. Make sure you moisturize. The same reason I have chapstick, that you don't necessarily need it with the lipstick. The last thing is a contact case, and this one's a little bit tricky. Now you're probably thinking, well, if you have contacts, contacts cases are great. This is the funny thing. I actually put medication in them, and I'm trying to tilt this so you guys can see it. This actually has my ibuprofen in it. It's really easy to just keep a few doses as opposed to carrying a whole bottle. Now sometimes I do have the little bottles that you can get at stores too. However, this means taking up extra space where this already fits in the little bento box container. My last bento box is reserved for technical supplies. You guys can see I like the wall plugs where it just flips in and out so it stores really nicely and an extra cord. These things are awesome. They come in various sizes. It's actually a battery pack. Now my phone is very, very good at dying. It will lose battery power like none other and I'm super grateful to my honey who just bought me a new phone. But if you have phones that die, it kind of sucks for con. Lately, I've been asking around the convention that I just went to for pictures because my phone died and I didn't get pictures, which sucks. Now, luckily, the cosplay community is amazing and will gladly let you borrow. Just make sure you ask for permission because otherwise it's rude. So you can definitely get pictures, but sometimes you also want pictures of yourself or pictures with yourself and that character. Like I found four other bells that I couldn't get pictures with because my phone died or it was about to die or, you know, reasons. So batteries are super useful that way. Now this doesn't fit into my makeup one, sadly, but mirrors 
always useful. Oh, and I just blinded everybody. But mirrors are really useful to have on you so you can check your makeup quickly. Now, your phone does work too, but at least for me, I am super nearsighted. So trying to get myself to focus on my phone is really hard for me. So little mirrors, very, very useful. Kleenex. Kleenex are very useful. I actually lent someone one of these because she is normally the con mom of her group and she managed to forget them. They're easy things to forget, but when you forget them, it sucks. Makeup runs, um, just normal sinus issues, super useful for all things. Now, one thing I didn't have in my con bag this year that I'm going to make sure to add is makeup wipes. Makeup wipes are super useful for cleaning things up and also for touch-ups. Now, I like using the eyeliners that are markers. They're eyeliner specifically designed like markers. Don't use markers as eyeliners. But it's not always really easy to get an exact lift, especially when you're putting like the wings on. So having both your mirror and your wipes to like clear stuff up makes life super easy. Now, as I said, I like these little eyeliner markers. There we go. They make doing things like wings super, super easy. And it also makes it fun and it's something that you don't have to have a whole lot of technique for. Next things, pens. Pens are super useful for all things. I even have a Sharpie in here for autographs. If you have someone you are specifically going to see, yes, they should have pens, but do you really want to rely on that? It's also useful for if you do not have cosplay cards. Cosplay cards are, cards are super useful and I will go over them in just a sec, but it's also useful to have a piece of paper or a little booklet and pens so you can get people's information. Because like I said, it's always good to tag people when you take their picture. So con badges. Con badges you get at the convention and the one we go to actually provides the little pocket and a lanyard. I don't like lanyards because I don't like things hanging around my neck. It's also inconvenient, especially in costume and with wigs, trying to get the lanyard over the wig or out of the wig. So I like putting a safety pin and safety pins are another thing that should always be in a con bag because super useful for everything. The reason I like these is you can see my cosplay cards in the back. So not only can you put your cosplay cards in because I've actually forgotten these in my car because it was separate from my con bag and missed an entire day of handing them out. But it is also super useful for when you get things like cosplay cards or photography cards to just slip in the back of your um, in the back of your ID and just be able to walk away and not have to sit and fiddle and have creased cards and all that kind of fun. Now, as I said, I love organization. So both my meal and my hand sanitizer are in separate Ziploc containers. Would I put them in separate Ziploc containers? Because I don't want hand sanitizer in my Mio. I think the Mio in the hand sanitizer might be okay, but you know, one should not connect with the other, especially if you're going to drink it. Mio's are very useful. I have one that is both electrolytes, one that is electrolytes and one that is caffeine. I found that if I don't have enough caffeine, as you guys have probably seen in the con video, I fade super fast. It might have something to do with being older. I don't know. Electrolytes, also useful. You want to make sure you drink a lot of water. And for that reason, I have this water bottle. It is actually a full liter, I believe. Yep, it's a full liter water bottle. So you want to drink that at least once, possibly twice during con. Luckily, most cons do have water stations, so you can stop and get water that are all over the hotel. But hand sanitizer, also very useful. Next thing that I'm going to add to my next con bag, because it's one of those things I never thought of. Now, my daughter is in dance, so I have done the competition dance thing where you have to bring everything with you. And I brought it for the dance, but I forgot it in the con. And that is the classic thing you always need, toilet paper. It's really easy to do the math. When there's that many people and so few bathrooms, the cleaning staff is not going to make it to clean up and add and resupply. And so you never want to be in the stall with no bathroom paper. Trust me, it's awkward. Because then you have to find somebody that has toilet paper and get you toilet paper, it's just not worth it. Oh, headphones. Headphones are always useful. They should be in my tech one. 
Alrighty, headphones are super useful, especially because cons are really loud, and I'm sure you guys have noticed with the little clip that I had from the con. There is always music. There is always talking. And of course, there's lots of people talking, so it makes for a very loud environment. Sometimes you just need to escape. This one I also like because it has a mini microphone on it, so it's useful for not schlepping my entire microphone with me to cons, though sometimes I do that too. And I actually have, or I made, a whole little thing to put my microphone in. I actually need to make a new one because, as you guys can see, it broke. So those are super useful too. Let's... Next thing, sunglasses. It may not go with your cosplay. You may want to forget about that. <laughs> uh, sunglasses are super useful, especially if it's summer cons. You can always wear them. These actually go with my Minnie Mouse one, so it's super cool. Next one, Mentos or any other breath freshener. You don't want to be that con goer that has bad breath. I met a few of them at my most recent con. It's not cool, and you kind of don't want to cringe when you walk up to people. The last thing is sustenance. It was actually kind of a joke in my group now because at one of my very first cons, we went to the Anime Con 101 where they instructed us on how to go do cons. So make sure you drink water, make sure you eat food, make sure you shower and brush your teeth and all that wonderful stuff. And the one thing the presenter specifically mentioned is you cannot live on the M&Ms at the bottom of your con bag. You need to eat real food. So now in every con bag, I have a bag of M&Ms because I think it's super funny. And also to cap that story, one of the few things I had in my con bag at that con was a bag of M&Ms, specifically at the bottom of my con bag. So I found dark ones, which make my life so much more fun. The other thing is granola bars. Granola bars, zone bars, protein bars, something that is quick and easy to eat, preferably that doesn't have loud wrappers because, again, you don't want to be that person on the panel. Of course, finding rest local restaurants that aren't too expensive are pretty nice, too. You can always go for the classics that you know are around every con, Subway, McDonald's, Burger King, all those kind of things. Just make sure you're eating healthy, because the one thing I found is, especially when you're somewhere for three days and you're not sleeping regularly, you're not eating regularly, and you're not drinking regularly, well, you guys saw the result with the con video. By Sunday, I was dead to the world. I had not been drinking water very well. We did eat, so that was good. But it was just, I was super loopy from just lack of sleep because of various other things that I had to do during my con weekend and not drinking near enough liquid, totally fading. So don't do that to yourself. You want to have a good con weekend and a good con experience. So do whatever you can to make sure you stay equal. And some of that is not staying up till three in the morning to then get up and be at con at like eight o'clock. If you want to do it, by all means, ignore me. However, I can tell you from experience, sometimes it can super suck. So that is all I've got for you guys this week. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. I love commenting. Shout out to the cosplay community because they are amazing people and everyone should know, you know, as many as possible. They are really sweet, very helpful, and very inclusive. It's super cool to go. It makes me feel normal because, as you guys can see, I am not normal and I am okay with it. But be living in a small rural area, I get a lot of stares. So it's nice to feel accepted. And that is all I've got for you this Fandom Friday. I will see you next week. Bye.